Okay, so I'll uh, pull up the database first. Uh, development. All right, so like, I didn't even bother, like as soon as I realized how many tables or how many like variables and like all these values that there were, it's like, uh, you know what? It's not even worth trying to like display all of that. They They get the point, right? So I have all the characters here in this table. Just the name and the name and the files. I kind of use this to the name and the files. I use that like for the uh, icons because that's what that's how the icons were named. I guess like in the game they just name it with these short and or short names. Like this one's I think that's that's a Japanese name of freaking Squirtle in Ivysaur and Charizard. So uh, yeah, there's that and uh, obviously you know there's, there's an ID and all the values associated with whatever values that the table is named after so there's that and that's really all the, the databases i just could not handle doing all that those that, that would be that would take too much work but even if i can copy and paste uh like from the page like back and forth character by character that would just take too long ultimately they get the point oopsie so uh, let me open it down here a splash screen You have uh, this menu here, uh, so you can go to the fighter list here. This is for just selecting or just viewing the stages. I mean, ideally, I would have had it to where like you can see a detailed view of the stages, like maybe like some details, like how close the blast zones are and stuff like that. That would be very useful information, but I didn't get around to doing that. This is well, I'll just do it one by one. Click on fighters, There's a list of fighters. As I said, I kind of only enabled the first twelve because. Adding all the other characters. I mean, like all those those icons, and I mean not not the icons, but like the little portraits. Those take up a lot of memory. So I was just like, in order to save up on memory, just he understands. Like they're all here. You click on them, it would show the same thing as these other things. So it's fine. So if you click on Mario, you can see there's very like I guess these, these images are really like I think they're extracted directly from the game. So like the very high resolution, you can see all the alts. And you can see the air acceleration. Oops, that is. Oops, I meant to. Oh wait, this is wrong. This is. Oh no, I didn't notice. Everything's off by one. Oh no. Oh well. They understand. They understand. And this, you know, it works for all characters. But I guess that issue is everywhere. Oh no. No. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, yeah, whatever. So if I click on stages, you can see uh all the legal stages. It separates at right here because uh apparently like you can add different views to uh a list view, I think is what I used. So yeah, that that was pretty interesting. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna add like a divider, but you can just add a view in between and to work as a divider, so and stage striking, it's the same exact layout, but like, let's say somebody tells you I strike the battlefields, and you can just click on them, and that way you can like look at all this, a list of all the stages that you have left and choose from them. So I, I kind of find that would be very useful, because very often like when someone says I ban X and X, I'm like, uh, I don't, I don't know all the stages like off the top of my head, so that's pretty useful. And lastly, this gives you a list of all the characters and whenever you click one it will link you to YouTube. So I want to watch some Lucas stuff, so I'm gonna click Lucas. And it natively I don't I mean I have it opening as a link, but it automatically opens in YouTube. So I kinda of found that convenient. So yeah. Pretty useful. I can go back. Uh let's say I wanna see I don't I don't have the other DLC characters. I just stopped at Joker because that's the files that I had before for the other application. I feel like watching. Uh, where, where is this? This is this is this. There she is. And there she is. So yeah, that works. And lastly, you can quit the application with that, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, it's not bad. I I didn't notice that issue with the headings. I, I'm not sure how I didn't catch that, but 
doesn't matter really it's just off by one index or off by one uh one is literally off by one 